The Congress of the Chinese Communist Party, where the party will amend its charter and select its top leadership, has kicked off. President Xi Jinping will try to further tighten his grip on power by naming his allies to top leadership posts as he's set for a second five-year term as the nation's leader. For more, we have our Oh Jung-hee on the line. Jung-hee, what do we know so far? Good afternoon, Talon. The 19th National Congress of the Communist Party of China, or CPC, opened this morning in Beijing. This is a huge political event held once every five years. And for this Congress, the Chinese President Xi Jinping will be starting his second term, consolidating his power even further. He has already been declared a core leader of the party, a status that's on par with the CPC founder Mao Zedong and his successor Deng Xiaoping. During the opening remarks this morning, she emphasized that this Congress will focus on making a Xiao Kang society where all citizens can enjoy comfortable and affluent lives and strive to achieve socialism with Chinese characteristics. During this week-long Congress, the party will make amendments to its constitution incorporating the new governance concepts, thoughts and strategies of President Xi and setting a blueprint for national development for the next five years and beyond. Our country is at an important point of strategic opportunity in its development. The future is extremely bright, but the challenges are also extremely serious. All party comrades must set their sights far and high and think of danger in times of safety, be willing to change and innovate, and be willing not to become stiff or stop. Tony, this is China's biggest political gathering. Uh, what are some points to watch out for? Through this Congress, the party will strengthen its anti-corruption campaign. The Congress spokesperson said yesterday that the party will make clear that anyone who violates the party discipline and the state law will be punished no matter who they are. And a lot of attention will be focused on changes in leadership structure. That's who will be appointed as the new members of the standing committee of the political bureau of the nation's ruling party, which is China's top decision-making body. Except for President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang, five of the seven members of the committee are set to retire, and some of the rising stars who are expected to take over the reins include a Chongqing Municipality Party chief, Chen Min-er, described as Xi's trusted confidant, and Guangdong Party chief, Hu Chunhua. And for the opening of the Congress, I hear North Korea have sent a congratulatory message to China. Yes, now North Korean state media reported this morning that the regime's ruling Workers' Party sent its warm greetings to the CPC and the Chinese people in hopes for a satisfactory success of the Congress. But Pyongyang's message for this Congress was only three sentences long, and that's much shorter than the messages sent to Beijing for the previous Congress in 2012, which was over 800 characters long. Also, while the previous messages have always emphasized securing and advancing the two's long friendship, there was no mention of that for this year's Congress, which reflects the rather cold relations between the two over Beijing's sanctions against Pyongyang for continued provocations. That's all I have for now, and I'll be back with more updates for later newscasts. Thank you, Jung-hee, for that comprehensive report. Keep us posted throughout the day.